Hi, welcome to another episode of Project Geo. I'm uh, Mason Rothman, and uh, with us here today we have... Yoav. Hi, I'm Yoav uh, from Eternix, and we're coming from Israel here to show you uh, uh, what we can do on our software, uh, which is called Blaze, and it's a visualization software. It's used to visualize many different kinds of uh, visual geographic information, and we're talking about uh, imagery uh, and terrain in 3D, but also video and point clouds vector data and 3D models, all the different kinds of uh, data on the same environment, in the same scene. And uh, we, we offer a very special uh, performance, everything running very smooth, very fast, uh, with huge files. You can open files in uh, very big volumes and start working with them in 3D and do it extremely fast. Okay, so that's, the, that's one of your selling points here with your, uh, your software is the speed. Exactly. I think that speed is the, the main thing. And we, when we're talking about speed, it's um, two things. First of all, is the performance of the, the engine, or the visualization engine, of how you can take the, the data that you have and visualize it in 3D extremely fast and smooth. You don't have to wait for things to happen. They, they just happen uh, on the fly. And the second thing is that the user interface is very streamlined. It's very easy to use. Everyone can just start working with the, the application and uh, use it to, to open the data and just look at it uh, and do it extremely fast. Okay, excellent. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do a demo real quick, if you don't mind. Give us a demo, and I'll just kind of hold the mic next to you while you're uh, showing us around. And, Andrea, you want to focus on the, uh, the television over here while we're doing that? Okay, so this is uh, Blaze Terra, and uh, we'll uh, take this uh, example of... Uh, web and layer and just zoom in so you can see the performance and how smooth I can just uh, drop into this place and uh, when we sh want to show uh, how we open terrain uh, we can do it on the fly that means that we take this imagery along with this layer of uh, them and then the, the imagery can be draped on the terrain in real time so just one click and we've got the image draped on top of the terrain and once we're in 3D we can just uh, drape any kind of data that we have on top of the 3D terrain like uh, vector data and even uh, video files they all can be draped uh, on the terrain in real time so you don't need to prepare the data in advance you don't need to uh, put the terrain uh, with the imagery together you can just take and uh, add uh, any kind of data and it's uh, draped in real time like this video this is just a plain uh, video file and uh, it's got the uh, registration data and you can see how it's being uh, transformed and draped on top of the terrain along with uh, vector data and other kinds of data. Th this seems extremely fast. What, what kind of uh, processing power do you need to run an application like this? Uh, actually, any kind of commodity hardware. I'm running this de demo on a laptop, which is just a plain and very cheap uh, laptop, and you can run it on any kind of hardware. We don't need any kind of uh, special hardware. We utilize the GPU, the graphics processor, uh, very uh, in a very unique manner, but we can run on any kind of GPU that you have, even onboard cards, on laptops, tablets. So you don't need a very uh, special hardware, and also the uh, the CPU requirements are pretty low. The CPU uh, always remain about 10% uh, usage, and the RAM also less than 200 megabytes, uh, even if you load data of extreme uh, sizes. Okay, so one of the other uh, key selling points on this one, or, or a thing to note, is that this data is not streaming. This is actually locally stored information that you're loading up onto the application, correct? Uh, you can have both options. I mean, the data can be anywhere. It can be local, uh, locally on your computer. It can be over a server in your organization or in a, in a server uh, which is remote over the web. And you can even combine layers from different sources all together on your uh, screen. So our application is like the window to your data, and the data can be anywhere. Uh, also, the data can be in lots of uh, standard formats. And, and that's important because we, we don't have our own formats. We always use standard formats. We support more than 100 different file formats, all of the standards that you know for imagery, for DEMs, for vector data, for 3D models, point files. Everything is standard formats. And we open these files directly. We don't need to process them. We don't need to convert them to a special format. You just open the files as they are stored in your uh, computer or server, and you can start working with them and see in, in 3D. So what's the largest file you've actually ever opened in this? Oh, 
huge files. We always get larger and larger. You know, the resolutions are getting uh, better. And the are we talking megabytes? Are we talking gigabytes? What are we talking? Uh, well, gigabytes is the, the smallest. Where this uh, image, for example, that I've loaded is uh, five petabytes. That's 5,000 terabytes. It's really huge image. And we're, when we're talking uh, about vector files, then vector files of millions of uh, features and point clouds with uh, billions of points. So it really, the amount of data is unlimited. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for uh, for having us over today, and uh, this is some really, really neat software. I'd never seen anything like this before, actually. Uh, thanks for uh, joining us on another uh, podcast of Project Geo. Mason Roth, I'll see you soon.